Hi, uh, so by Concrete Anchorage program user. Today I'm going to show you the uh, anchor lot standoff option. So uh, go to the select input for under config and setting. There is uh, option here, anchor lot standoff options. We provide four options here. One is the standoff with grouting. The second is uh, no standoff, no gap. No grouting, okay. The third one is stand off uh, without clamping. The last one is uh, stand off with clamping. The clamping nut is here. Uh, it it provides a restraint uh, to prevent the anchor lock from rotating, okay. So it's good for uh, uh, rotation restraint. So uh, go to side view here. Uh, most case. Most of, in my case, uh, almost all of my projects that uh, we use uh, the grouting options here. And, uh, but uh, in some industry, uh, they prefer these uh, standoff uh, option here. Okay, so today I'm going to address this option here for design. And here there's a gap. Uh, between uh, underside of base plate and concrete surface. So the program will, uh, will, will when you input a gap value here, the program will check the minimum uh, required gap uh, based on the anchor anchor bolt diameter and the thickness of the washer and the nuts. Uh, if you input a smaller value, it will correct. Uh, you find the uh, nuts and washer won't fit, it will correct, to correct your input value to the minimum value, okay? But if you input a large value, uh, that should be fine. It will stay. So, uh, go back to grouting option, okay? For this program, uh, we have uh, check, uh, let's say one inch grout, okay? So, we have check for uh, both anchor bolt and base plate. We have a uh, check for anchor bolt for base plate. Uh, that's for grouting option. But if you go for uh, standoff options, you go for standoff option, okay? The base plate is not touching the concrete surface. In this case, uh, we only provide the check for anchor bolt. Uh, the base play, uh, the base play check is not supported in this scenario. Okay, when the base play uh, is uh, detached from concrete surface, there's no check for base play. So I believe uh, most uh, user come here for a concrete anchor bolt design. Okay, not for a base play. So uh, I think that should be fine. So grouting surf, grouting option for the uh, for the uh, standoff options if you want to do the let's just uh, side notes if you want to do the base plate design you can idea way is model this base plate as a final element meshing okay you use other program like sub 2000 step pro or risa to do the final element analysis and uh, that's the best way to do it. But uh, uh, I believe uh, most users come here to use this program for anchor bolt design, so that should be fine if you go for standoff options. But if you go for grouting options, you will get both uh, anchor bolt and base plate design. Okay, so uh, for clamping options, uh, I think uh, some industry they like this way, and uh, it will be easier for construction. You save the uh, grouting part, and uh, also the base plate uh, is uh, away from con is detached from concrete surface. There will be uh, there will be no rainwater uh, surrounding the base plate, so you won't. It will prevent from rusting, and uh, and also this leveling nuts is good for leveling and adjust the elevation. Okay, but there's some disadvantage for that because uh, the uh, there's no uh, base plate is not touching the concrete, so uh, 
there's a uh, sticking up there's overhand or cantilever of this lot so there will be one additional check under the shear section under the shear section okay so there's be additional check like this uh, check on the bending of this anchor lot so that uh, normally govern the design so um, for standoff off shrimps uh, most of the times you fail at this uh, limit state check, okay? Because uh, there's additional uh, tensile stress caused by the bending moment. So the best way to handle that is to uh, is to use a high strength boat, okay? Uh, like uh, We use uh, 105 instead of 36, and we probably uh, increase the uh, boat diameter. That's the best way to get the pass, get the design passed, okay? So you see here, it dropped to, uh, okay, that's, uh, that's, uh, what's this? Embedment death inadequate. I think, uh, okay, so uh, let's say 15. And this one change to 18. Okay. So uh, the best way to Pass these uh, so the base play uh, check uh, is not available for stand up options. We have only uh, concrete anchor board design. Okay, and uh, the best way to get along with uh, stand up uh, bending moment check is to use a high strength bolt, use a high strength bolt and larger diameter uh, anchor rod. Okay. And uh, so we address this uh, one. Okay, so we address this one high strength boat, diameter boat, additional check. Oh, we address this one. And uh, okay, there's one more thing and uh, config and setting. The you see here we have six uh, anchor boat. Uh, there's one uh, one issue, okay. The base plate hole size uh, normally uh, based on uh, where is it? Okay, based on uh, that's from AI AISC design manual, okay. Uh, table uh, fourteen point two. There's a uh, recommend size of uh, base plate hole. Based on angular diameters, normally it's a one quarter or half inch larger. Uh, the, the base plate hole diameter is one quarter or half inch larger than the uh, angular diameter. Uh, that's because of uh, the construction tolerance of this uh, angular placement. Uh, when you pour, when you pour the concrete, uh, it's, uh, it it might push the uh, uh, anchor bolt inside the uh, phone work okay so now we, from AISC recommendations we, we need uh, like a one quarter or half inch larger of uh, base hole, base play hole diameters and for that reasons when you uh, when you uh, transfer the shear from base play to the anchor lot not all like you have six bolt here. So not all the uh, uh, anchor bolt will touch uh, the base plate uh, edge, uh, whole edge to get the bearing transmission. So we provide an option only. Okay, if you you uh, if you uh, like here, uh, if you choose the yes for these options uh, for shear transmissions. Uh, you have six bolts here. Uh, we only consider half of that, which is three bolts. Okay, uh, that's option here. Sure, 
Okay, we check yes just now. Instead of six, we we use three bolts uh, to uh, transmit the shear from base plate to anchor rod. Uh, that's quite common uh, approach. Uh, normally, I use it. Okay, for the uh, grouting options. Okay. Uh, because for grouting option, there's no uh, additional check for the uh, uh, anchor bolt uh, bending. So we can do that way. Uh, the, the, the normally, there's no issues. But for stand-up option, if you reduce the functioning uh, bolt uh, ensure transmission from six to three the single bolt uh, carry uh, the shear force carried by single bolt will get doubled okay and consider that uh, there's additional check on the anchor lock bending okay here for standoff option is uh, additional check here you may have some problem on on passing the design check so I highlight this to you as for standoff option users, okay? You might, when you choose standoff options, uh, the program will turn this uh, option automatically to no, okay? So, uh, which uh, is the desired scenario for you? But if you had to consider this, it depends on how you detail your base plate hole size, okay? So if you you, you give uh, your base plate hole size is like 1 8 inch larger than the anchor lock diameter, that should be fine. And 100% uh, of the anchor bolt in the group will, will, will be mobilized on the bearing transmission. But if you in, you detail your base plate size with a whole size like uh, one quarter or half inch larger, based on these uh, AISC manual table, you might consider only consider half of the boat in the shear transmission. Okay, that's for your option. So uh, the stand off gap reset again. Uh, I probably already state this one. And the we check the gap required minimum gap required. Let's say uh, you input one inch here for one nut, one washer. We you we need more than that. Okay, it will automatically uh, correct you to the minimum uh, required gap. But if you uh, input a large value, that should be fine. Okay, so that's the program corrections. Uh, check internally to make sure you have enough gap for to accommodate the uh, uh, minimum uh, uh, requirement for the uh, one pair of washer and uh, nuts. If you go for two pair, then there will be a large value. You will automatically set the minimum value, okay? Say two inch, you will switch to minimum value. But uh, if you have four inch, that should be fine, okay? So that's it. And the uh, that's the standoff options, and uh, compared to the uh, grouting options, um, everything is the same, except uh, there's additional check for uh, anchor lock bending. Okay, and uh, that's probably a, a governing check. So as I say, use a high strength bolt and larger diameter anchor lock. Uh, you may uh, get this check pass easily okay and that's it and thanks for watching see you next time